I headed north through the desert on Highway 93 toward Eli State Prison. It wasn't too long before I began to see why it was known as the loneliest road in America. The empty desert rolled the horizon in every direction. Hard, chiseled mountain ranges, barren of any vegetation, rose and fell away as I drove. The only signs of civilization were the two-lane blacktop and the power lines carried over the ranges by iron stick figures that looked like giants from another planet. Up ahead, the car that had passed by me earlier disappeared over the next ridge line. I felt like I'd been left alone on the surface of the moon. Hello, I'm Michael Connolly, and I want to tell you a little bit about my new book, The Scarecrow. I'm standing out here in what appears to be the middle of nowhere. It's actually the desert outside of Las Vegas, alongside what is known as the loneliest road in America. Highway 93 cuts the Nevada desert in half, and in The Scarecrow, newspaper reporter Jack McAvoy finds himself on this road chasing a killer. It is in this desolate landscape that Jack comes to realize he's cut off completely from the world in all ways. No cell phone, no cash, no credit cards. He begins to wonder whether he's chasing the killer or the killer's chasing him. The Scarecrow is a story about the dark side of technology, about how it can work for us and just as easily against us. Jack teams up with FBI agent Rachel Walling, who he met a decade ago in The Poet, and together they close in on The Scarecrow. I hope you get a chance to read it and you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we gotta do that again. I got a sound problem or something. I nailed that. What are you talking about? Well, what was something? What, what is, is that it? guy doing? What the hell? Is he finished? Is that an arm or something? What's that? Hey, what are you doing, dude? Let's what get out of here. Hell? All right, let's get out of here, Dennis. Available wherever books are sold.